Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, ladies. Good evening. And gentlemen. Hi, Carla. How's everything? Hi, I mean, teacher. Hi. Why is everybody in black? Jesus. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start uh, with the class number 10. So, this is the video conference number 10. Let's remember. Today, basically, we are finishing week number two. So, basically, we are in the middle of the class course. So, that's going to be interesting because for today, you have already finished uh, the homework number 10 and also the math term, as far as I know, All right? Uh, as far as I, uh, I know, some people were saying that they will be as a listener. If I'm not grown, mm, who's gonna be that uh, person? I think it's, it's, it's just some of you that are going to be as listeners, but that's okay, okay? So we're gonna start with the attendance list just to continue with the class, okay? Just to continue with that. So Andres Joel, is it here? Andres. Present. Ah, okay, cool. Cool, man. Are you yet working, Andres? Yes. Uh... Sí, hasta la 10, ¿verdad? Ah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, are, are you working right now? Ah. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, cool. All right. That's nice. Let's see, Carlos Mauricio. Nah, I mean, just in time, he's getting connected. Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Estoy teniendo problemas de internet ahorita. <laughs> really? But it's not raining. Pero no está lloviendo ahorita. Por esa zona. No, no, está, no está lloviendo ni nada. Estamos de internet. Ah, ya, yeah, men, así, así se ve. Está medio raro. But anyways, the good thing is that, you, that you're connected right now. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Uh, Cindy, Melanie. Cindy, Cindy. All right, she's not here. Stephanie Michel. Mm, Michelle, Michelle. Okay, I think she was the one that says that it's not getting connected. Ivania Jamilet. Ivania, are you there? Hello, Ivania. Are you there? Ah, okay. Y así como que estoy seguro que está ahí porque se está moviendo la cámara. Sí, la cámara es que me voy conectando. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Let's continue. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline. Presente. Ah, okay, cool. Let's move a uh, Joanna Sarai. I'm here, teacher. Okay, nice. You're not working today, right? I'm sick. You sick? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge, Jorge. No, no, it's not here yet. Let's see. Jose Edgar. This is me, Jose Edgar. Juan Emanuel. Okay, he's not there. Julio Cesar. All right, it's not here. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, very good. Carla Lisset. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move. Raquel Stephanie. I'm here. Ah, okay, man. What a motivation, Raquel. I don't have now. <laughs> are you are you in the work or in the house? 
in the house, but I have a two in super pesado. You feel dying, man. Yeah, I mean, I can yes. feel, I can feel your voice. Tal vez mañana ya estoy recuperada. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, Veronica Arely. I am in Veronica. She's on the way. On the way home. Wendy Jamilet. Mm. Wendy, Wendy, right, Wendy is not here. Cool. William Ernesto. Ah, okay, William. Yes, I you're working right. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Carlos Josue. No, right, Carlos is not here. And let's put the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. Reinaldo. Okay, he's not there. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the things that we're going to be doing tonight, people. So in that case, ah, Jorge, that's okay. I'm going to add you in the attendance list. Just give me one second. I'm going to put it here. Okay, cool. So today, let's remember, we basically got the finish of the week number, all right, Jorge, uh, week number two. So basically with this class, you're finishing the class number 10 uh, and the week number two. And so tomorrow we're going to start with the week number three, probably completely different, all right? New structures and new ways of practicing, of course. So today what we're going to have is just a general review from the main topics that we were discussing during this week. So what does it mean? We're gonna be practicing the uses of the simple uh, present information questions, simple past with just no questions, and the other topics that we were discussing, right? Uh, especially the ones that we were practicing last class, if you remember, we were practicing vocabulary related to the company, right? Uh, in which you were doing some short conversations. So basically that's what we are going to be doing tonight. So let's start over because we have some practices to do in the manual and also some things that we got for, you know, like practicing in a presentation that I am going to put in here right now. So I'm gonna share the presentation. Just give me one second. All right, this is gonna be the presentation that we are going to be showing tonight. Give me one second. So there you have. Okay, so this is uh, the end of the unit number two, as I said. So tonight is going to, to be review and practice from the topics that we were discussing during this week, right? Let's remember that yesterday we were about to finish this unit, but since it was a day off, so we're gonna finish it tonight. So let's start with that. What's the most remarkable thing? As I was saying in the past, we're gonna make a general review from the previous topics, right? Uh, we're going to complete some exercises that we have in the manual and some questions that I bring up in this presentation. And then, of course, we're going to work fully in the manual, you know, like, like doing some activities that are in there. All right. Let's start over with something that I didn't explain that much last class. So this is, this is uh, a, a definition of some words that are important to remember, all right, when talking about companies. So we got two words in here. Look, we got the word personnel and we got the word personal. How do you understand these words? ¿Cómo interpretan ustedes estas palabras? Personal and personal. ¿Qué es personal para ustedes? ¿Qué es personal para también? What is that? How do you interpret that, those words? We were about to discuss that last class, but we didn't have time to do it. So we're going to do it today. So since this is a feedback, we are going to do it right now. 
So what is it? What is personal and what is personal for you? Yo lo entiendo personal como un grupo de personas, ¿verdad? Personal y personal del personal de uno propio. Ah, ah ok. All right. All right. Kind of like that. Okay, cool. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? Hay más que quiera opinar sobre esta Maybe personal is about employee. Ajá, ok. En personal personal things about a person. <laughs> ok, ok. It's, it's mostly related to that, Karen. Thank you. And a little bit about what Carlos was saying. Listen, so in that case, personal is referring to the people who works in a company, a group of people, right? And personal is basically what you as a person does or problems that you might have, right? But it's for your own. So something personal, as, as everybody says. Check this out. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Who can help me out reading? Just give me one second. I'm going to click here. No, 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 no. Ah, no. This people is not working. Ah, Carla, help me out reading, Carla. The definition of personal. OK. Personal is an adjective. Adjective. Mm. Meaning. Meaning. Uh -huh. Meaning of relating to or affecting a person. Uh -huh. Example. All personal right. problems are affecting her. There you go. That's what it means. Thank you, Carla. So you see. Personal, right? Something personal. It says it's an adjective meaning of relating to or affecting, you know, like especially a person. So that's why we got an example in here. It says personal problems are affecting her. So in that case, when we talk about personal, we're talking about something that is related to every person. Okay. Something that happens to every person inside a company or inside her or his social life so on the other hand we got personal and what is a personal Xiomara can you please help me a reading yes personal is a noun referring to people themselves or a collection of people Aha. Uh -huh. the example Example, my company's personnel is very responsible. There you go. Thank you, Xiomara. As, uh, let me see. Okay, as you were saying and as Karen was saying, so basically, personnel belongs to the group of people that works in an, a specific company, right? So as a group of people, we can be called personnel, right? So that's a personal. Pero, eh, I mean, in Spanish, that's, that's personal, right? Pero ya estamos hablando acá a nivel de una empresa. Todos los que trabajan dentro de una determinada empresa, un grupo de personas, right? So that's personal. So in the other hand, personal, so that refers to something specific for every person, okay? I was bringing this just to know the, just to make up the differences of they both, right? Simplemente eh, los puse acá para remarcar cada uno de ellos ya que en una página del, del manual igual aparecen este, eh, eh, estas dos uh, palabras over there y me, me, o sea, la intención era para que ustedes y supieran cuando se usa personal y cuando se usa personal para que no las van a confundir y piensen que una sola es para ambas situaciones but now we got differences okay in writing so this is pretty much what we got about this all right, now, what are, going to, what are we going to do with the rest of the things? Now, let's remember that uh, the first topics that we were discussing in the past was the use of the simple present, but using information questions, right? You remember we were practicing information questions using the simple present. 
So we are going to start with that part, okay? Just to make up a general feedback in, in order to move on, you're gonna provide some examples to see if everything is working fine with that. And then we're gonna continue with the feedback from the other topics that we were practicing. So let's move. All right, before that, I bring out some vocabulary words related to the company, right? This is a very basic vocabulary that we can use, okay, when we talk about a company. What is the first word that we are going to, uh, you know, uh, meet in this case? Look at this. We got the first one. The first one is industry. Everybody knows what the industry means. So basically it's everything that composes uh something okay related to a company right then we have manufacture so what do you understand by manufacture what is manufacture what is manufacture for you people let me see Mm -hmm. Michelle, what is manufacture for you? Michelle, are you there? Okay, se fue. Fabricación. Hola, Yana. What did you say? What did you say, Joana? I didn't listen to you. Fabricar, fabricación, algo así. Ah, okay. So manufacture is like when you got raw material, cuando básicamente tenemos producto en bruto, or to, to, to call it like that, right? Raw material. And we create something, okay, in the place that we are working in. So that's basically manufacture, right? To create products and services. Now, let's move with the other pairs of words. Check this out. We got a staff and we got personnel. These words are pretty similar. Staff is a group of people, okay, that got together just to work in a, in a specific area in a company. So personnel is likely the same, right? They both are synonyms. Then we got networking and expertise or expertise. Okay, let's start with networking. What is networking for you guys? ¿Qué entendemos por networking? Is it the first time that you listen that word? ¿Es primera vez que escuchan esa palabra? ¿O ya la han, ya la, ya la han escuchado antes? What is networking? Emmanuel, what is networking? So let's see if you have you got that one. Emmanuel, are you there? Networking is the what do you say? Uh, is Similar to sideways. Uh -huh. uh, internet connections. Internet connection. Ah, okay. All right. Since this is net, net. So that's basically related to the internet, right? So networking, basically, it's when you have seminars or you have some kind of interaction between companies using computers, using online, right? The network. Like what do you say, Carlos? Like a Zoom. Exactly, like Zoom. For example, like this, like this class we're having right now, we're using the internet, right? We are using tools like Zoom, as you were saying. So basically that's networking, right? Mm -hmm. Go Ah, se le escucha medio raro, como que, como que no está muy clara la voz. Okay. Yes. All right, yeah, man. 
Okay, so that's networking. Basically, it's like when you attend seminars, when you do something or you connect with other people using the internet, right? Using the computer, that's networking. Now the other one, expertise, what is that? Expertise. La experticia o pericia, okay. And what is that? For example, este, para, cuando me daban las placas al vehículo, tengo, tengo que hacer una experticia, como una revisión. Ah, okay, okay. That's basically checking, right? So, but in this case, expertise or expertise, basically it's like when you are, okay, when you're doing the things that are required in a very professional way, right? Yeah, basically it's when you have the experience to do something, okay, according to what the requirements are made. So that's expertise, basically. When you get the experience to do something. That is, that's the one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, like the ability to do something. Experiencia y habilidad para hacer algo, okay, de manera profesional, por así decirlo. All right, that's what it is. That's what it is. Cool. Next. Branch. Let me see. Mm, mm, mm. So, what is a branch? Let me see. A lot of people are not getting connected with me. Why is it? Ah, okay, cool. Basically, a branch is another okay part of a company into a, a specific place, right? So, that is a branch. In other words, in Spanish, sucursal. That's what it is. All right. So if we got branching here, what is guests? Have you ever heard this word? Guests. For example, look, a guest in this case is like, let's suppose I have a party. Okay. I have a party and I invite you people, everybody. I invite you. So you are oh. a guest. What do you say, Carlos? Esa palabra de guest la usaba cuando yo estaba en el consente. Y, por ejemplo, cuando me decía el cliente, este, quiero una red guest, me decía él. Entonces mm -hmm. quería una red para un invitado, para que no se la apoye de él. Ah, ah, all right. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a guest. So basically, guest is like invitado, right? That's what it is. Invitado, that's a guest. Now, next, headquarters. Mr. Gamero, what is a headquarters? It's a, la empresa principal. Okay, to put it that way, like the main uh, company or Casa Matriz. I think that's the one that we, that, that we call, right? To, to, to uh, an enterprise that got its own place. Okay, cool. So then we have a small talk. If you remember last class, we were practicing this. Si recuerdan la clase pasada, estuvo basado en esto, en small talk, right? Short conversations, okay? That's what it is, short conversation. Okay, and this is pretty much what we got. Uh, later on, we're gonna use this vocabulary to do something else. Luego vamos a usar este vocabulario para hacer algo más, okay? Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna continue with these things before moving on to the manual. So if you want to take on a screenshot, it will be good for you. That will be more than perfect. All right. I don't know if you have already finished. Because I see some of you are writing down. But I guess you finish. Okay, let's move. Okay, now let's start over with this. Simple present information questions. Let's remember that when we talk about the simple present, especially information questions, it's like when we specify 
the question that we are asking. In this case, let's remember that we work with the WH words. And what are the most common WH words that we can use in this type of topics? Well, you know the type of words I am talking about, right? So we're talking about what, what time, where, when, which, who, and why. So these are the, the most recognized WH words that we can create information questions. Let's remember that. Now, I bring up some examples in here just for us to remember the structure and the way how we create this type of questions. Check this out. It says, information questions are used to ask specific information about a person, place, or situation, right? So, básicamente, las eh, preguntas informativas las usamos para preguntar, right? Listen up. Preguntar o pedir información específica sobre una persona, un lugar, o una situación del porqué de las cosas, right? Let's remember that part. Examples. Check this out. Where do you work? So, si toman en cuenta acá en esta parte, right? El verbo por lo general va al final de la pregunta. Why? Because if you take a look in here, if you take a look in here, más adelante vamos a ver la, la estructura. Tenemos el auxiliar. All right, you got the auxiliary verb. Como estamos en presente simple, usamos do o does si es tercera persona. Then the subject, this is the subject, and this is the main verb. This is the verb principal. So what is this? So this is just the WH word, all right? The ones that we got over here. You see? This is the one. And what are, what are we asking for in here? Basicamente aquí lo que estamos preguntando es sobre un lugar donde nosotros hacemos una actividad, right? So preguntas con where es básicamente para preguntar sobre un lugar donde nosotros desarrollamos una actividad. So, if you say, where do you work? What would you say as an answer? Check this out. I work in Super Selecto, for example. If you take a look in there, we answer to the question. All right? So, we are asking, I mean, uh, answering to the question. Y aquí, pues, básicamente estamos dando la respuesta a la pregunta. You see? I work in Super Selectos. Trabajo en Super Selectos. I work in a school. I work in a car shop. I work in San Salvador. I work in Santa Tecla. Whatever you are in, so you can answer with this type of structures. Next question. Mm, let me see if you can help me out with this. Jesus Christ, most of you got the camera off. Oh. Let me see who can help me out with that. Ivania, can you please help me out please, with this? Ivania, are you there? Hello, Ivania. All right, oh, she didn't find the bottom or oh, she fell asleep. Probably the second one is the most acceptable. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, Emmanuel, can you please help me out reading this one? Um, where do you work? Okay, continue. I work in Super Selectors. Okay, now read the last one. What does she do? Okay, thank you, mister. What does she do? Check this out. The first do, this one, is interperson modified, all right? This is do plus es. And in here, this is the main verb, okay? What does she do? So, básicamente acá, esta pregunta puede ser interpretada de 
dos maneras. What does she do? ¿A qué se dedica ella? Ok. O, ¿qué hace ella? So, both ways uh, uh, can be interpreted using this question. So, what is the possible answer that you might give? Look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. All right, Carlos, help me a reading. Chavez, help me a reading. Well, that's to do. Uh -huh. The answer is she supervises the production department. Ah, okay. She supervises the production department now, you see? So this is the way how we can answer this type of questions. And also you can say, ah, she is an engineer. También podemos responder este tipo de preguntas con la profesión que la persona eh, tiene, por así decirlo. Si yo digo, what does Carla do? Será, what does Carla do? All right. Probablemente en la respuesta podamos obtener la profesión que ella posiblemente tiene. All right. So you might say, she is an engineer, she is a teacher, she is a lawyer right, or whatever she is, so you can put it like that. Y la respuesta va a también estar correcta. Okay, give me one second. These people is not getting connected. Okay, so this is the way how we ask, all right, with this type of questions. Now, let's move. Another part, let's remember, if you got in here, if you have this part, look, in here, we got does because the question is interpersonal. person. Le recordemos que ahí llevamos does porque ya la pregunta estamos haciéndola en singular, usando una tercera persona. Por eso llevamos does. Ok. Remember, does, uh, podemos ponerlo ahí cuando usamos he, she, it o un singular noun. Cuando mencionamos a una persona en específico. Ok. So that's the way how we use this structure. So take a look at the structure that we can put in here. Give me one second, I'm gonna put this over here. And let's continue. Yeah, let's clean it up. Look at the structure. The structure says it's the following. So this is the structure, if you remember, that we can, we can have, all right? So we got the W squared. Recordemos, la W squared puede ser cualquiera de las que puse anteriormente. And that's no problem. You can do that. And uh, then we got do or does. Remember, do cuando hablamos de singular, I mean, plural y primera persona right do does is mostly for third person and singular let's remember that then we have the subject let's remember that the subject in that case right the subject it's basically uh the one that is going to be uh directing the question and then the verb in the base form recordemos el verbo siempre va a ir en forma base el verbo principal okay es siempre en forma base. And then we have a complement. Y luego tenemos un complemento. All right. The examples. Karen, help me out reading this one. Where does Marta send emails? Ah, okay. Very good. Where does Marta send emails? Si vemos en esta estructura, das está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona. Okay. Why? Porque acá estamos hablando ya de una persona. All right, only one. And in here, el verbo va en forma base and then the complement. Okay? And in here, we're asking about the place. Y aquí pues ya estamos hablando sobre una locación o preguntando más bien por una locación en donde esta persona hace cierta actividad. All right? So this is the way how we handle this structure. So you see the answer? She says emails to other branches. Ah, ella envía emails o correos a otras, ok, you know what is branches, right? A uh, otras, like, emails. 
going to say this. Let me change this color. Okay, two other branches. Look at this. So we got she. Acá ya no es necesario volver a repetir el nombre Marta. Okay, it's optional for you if you put it or not. En este caso ustedes ya tienen la opción de si no quieren colocar el nombre Marta de nuevo en la respuesta pueden simplemente poner she en the sí. She sends. Si ven acá ya el verbo va modificado con la S. Why? Porque aquí ya no hay ningún verbo auxiliar que pueda fungir la opción de la tercera persona como lo está haciendo acá el das. Ok. All right. Por este das, este verbo va en forma base en la pregunta. Ok. But in here, acá como no tenemos ningún auxiliar, por eso es que el verbo ya tiene que ir con S. All right. And then, this is just a complement, ok? She sends emails to other branches. Ella envía correos a otras sucursales. Let's put it that way. Right? This is the way how we create this type of answers to these questions, right? Look at this. What do you do? What do you do? It's like, ¿qué haces o a qué te dedicas? You see? I train new employees. Ah, entreno o capacito nuevos empleados. You see? So this is the way how you answer this type of questions. Okay. Any question with this? Bien. Hasta acá. Uh, Todo claro. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Algo que no terminamos de entender. So you can ask and I will clarify any questions that you might have. No questions? No? Okay, perfect. Cool. If you don't have any questions to ask, listen up. I want you to do two examples for me. Quiero que me hagan dos ejemplos usando information questions. Uno en primera persona usando you y el otro en tercera persona. Ok. Usando ya sea he, she o un nombre propio. Ok. Two questions. Only two of them. Cuando los terminen, me los hacen saber. So we're going to start up a practice with that. Just let me know if you have any questions. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, you finish? Yes, I finished. No, okay, very good. Okay, good. You have already finished. I guess everybody finished. So let's start with the practice. Let's see. Xiomara, do you have your questions? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, could you be so kind and read the questions that you have? And uh, let me see. What time I get up on weekends? What time? I get up. On weekends. Uh, 
Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna mess up with this thing. I'm gonna clear up and I'm gonna put this. Let me see. Give me one second. What time? What time? I I no sé si ever do. I do get up on weekends. Like this? No. What time I do? Mm. Weekends. Uh -huh. I do. Uh, like this? Así? Sí. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a escribir la estructura over here. And, and let's see if, if you got understood this case. WS word, right? Plus. Do. Ah, uh, do I. <laughs> plus subject. Plus, ok, verb. Plus complement. But the bird in here, remember, they form. Ah, entonces, ¿cómo sería? What time do I get up on weekend? Okay. What time do I get up on weekend? Cool. And the next word? I mean, in the next question? Why okay, does she yeah. prepare? Okay. Does she prepare dinner early? Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay. Now, let's see. Carlos Mauricio, give me your question. Where do you go this weekend? Where do you go this weekend? Okay. Yo, I, I go to the, I go to the, my country. I go to my country. Como voy a mi país. Ah, sí, okay. algo así. All right. Yeah. Eh, solo que ahí ya no sería go es, sería igual lo mismo go, porque es una pregunta en primera persona, ok that's a first person question so entonces sería simplemente okay. I, I go ok, next question solo esa hecho ahorita <laughs> ah man, you're watching the game right, ah, está viendo el partido man, which game are you watching Carlos? Ya lo descubrí, man. ¿Cuál partido está viendo? Ver? El Firpo y, y Alianza. Ah, va ganando Alianza. ¿Va ganando Alianza? Los Albos, sí. Yes. Monterroso, mete Olva. ¿Uno a cero? Dos, creo. Dos a uno. Ah, pero esas son ya las eliminatorias, ¿no? ¿Ya? Cuartos. Ahorita en... octavos de final. Octavos oh, de final. Oh, oh, interesting. Pero. Ah, ok. Ok. Yeah, because last time I remember uh, Firpo won. You know, you know what? Como dato curioso, yo trabajo justo enfrente del estadio del Sergio Torres. I mean, enfrente, in front. <laughs> That was crazy, man. That was a nightmare. Allá tuviera si no fueran las clases. <laughs> no, en realidad me costó salir por eso. Bueno, de hecho salí un poco tarde porque sí costó porque había bastante tráfico and everything. Era un desorden completo ahí. But anyways, that's, that's cool, man. That's cool. Los no <laughs> Exactly, man. Exactly. Oh, my God. Now, okay, Carlos, let's finish the third person uh, question that you're missing, okay? Now, uh, Carlos Chavez, read yours. 
Okay, teacher, the first one, who is your favorite football player? My answer, my favorite, play, my favorite football player is Totti. Can you hear me very well, teacher? That one, who is your favorite football player? Okay, uh, the question is, who is your favorite football player? Okay, instead of football, instead of football, pongale soccer player. Ah, okay. What is your what is your soccer? No, what is your favorite soccer player? Uh huh. Okay. Ah. Uh, my answer is my favorite soccer player is Totti. Ah, okay. But you, you answer, I mean, your question was with what? Or with no. who? Like that. Who? Who? Ah, okay. Who is All right. Así como está en la pantalla, entonces. Así es, sí, Nah, perfect. And your second question? Uh, my second question is, where does Susana play video games? Repeat it again. Where does Susana play video games? I just listen play video games, but the name in here. Hello, yes, really. Yeah, because I, I, I don't listen to you clearly. Ah, Susana. Man, I didn't listen to the word Susana. <laughs> There you go. Ah, no, Carlos. Eh, eh, place, aquí el verbo va en forma base, así como dice la regla. Look, verb in base form. Significa que acá play tiene que ir así, sin S. La S la va a llevar la respuesta. Aunque sea tercera persona, siempre se mantiene en forma base. Yes, and I'm going to explain that again. Listen. En preguntas, aunque esté en tercera persona, este es el que hace la acción de la tercera persona. Look, el auxiliar. Porque el auxiliar eh, es do. En forma base, recordemos, es do. Así. Pero okay. como a do se le agrega el, el todo verbo que termina en o, en tercera persona se le agrega es, ese do se transforma en das. Entonces, como el auxiliar ya está transformado, no hay necesidad de que el verbo principal se transforme también. Por lo tanto, simplemente en forma como ya, base. Como ya transformé el do en das, ya no aplica el verbo. En... Exactly, Ajá. exactly. Okay, okay. All right, so that's why you got it. Right? Okay, very good. Your questions are, are pretty interesting. Cool. Karen, can you please read yours? Yes. What do you do on Sundays? Okay, very good. And where does she live? Ah, where does she live? Very good. Thank you, Karen. Now, let's see, Carla. Do you have yours? Uh, where do you work? Ah, okay. Y el otro es casi parecido al de Karen. What does she live? Like this? Yes. ¿Qué quiso poner ahí, Carla? ¿Dónde vive ella? Ah, pero, no es, que si, si. pero es que si dice dónde vive, es where. Where. Ah, ok. Me equivoqué. Hmm. ¿Por qué no le pone así, mire? Easy. Ok. Who does she live with? ¿Con quién vive ella? Okay, and we got one possible question. Now there. 
Cool, Karen. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, let me see. I mean, everybody got the cameras off. Uh, Jorge, are you in your house, Jorge? Already? Yeah, right. So you had a question, Jorge? Okay. Uh, where does Angel buy the books? Give me one second. Where does Angel buy, buy the books? Okay, cool. Next. Uh, where do you work actually? Ladies? Hey, where do you work actually? And actually, what, what, what does it mean actually for you? Actualmente? Yeah. Eh, no. Actually, de hecho, significa en realidad. En realidad. Ah, sorry. Eh, ¿Cómo era? Actualmente. Currently. Yeah, how, how do you say? Currently. Oh, okay. I, I got it in the question already. Look at that. Where do you work currently? Current, okay. Or where do you currently work? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, cool. I mean, both ways are possible. All right, nice. Let's move. Let me see somebody else that has already finished and it's in the question in the class. Emmanuel, do you finish them? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 What time do you prepare hola, the, hola. the food? Okay. Cool. Next. Okay. Hey, the I prepare my food at Eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. And the next question? And the second question. Okay, the second question is uh -huh. What book do you want to read? Okay, the answer is uh, I want to read the Like this, what book do you want to read? Yes. Okay, instead of what, mister, vamos a hacer una pequeña corrección. In best, instead of what, póngale which. Which. Yeah. Which book do you want to read? Okay, which book do you want to read? Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, very good, very good. Now, next, let me see, who can be next? Uh, Andres. Andres, are you, are you there? Mm, I thought he was in, in his house, but actually, I think he's not there. Um, you. Okay, yeah, I mean, I was about to mention you, Ivania. Okay, cool, um, let's go. Uh, no sé si estarán bien, pero eh, okay. la primera es, what time? Do I get up to go to work? Okay. Okay. 
función de es, where do you go for a work on weekends? Where do you go for a work on weekends? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's possible. Thank you, Ivania. Nice. Let me see something else, someone else. Uh, I saw Michelle getting connected, but I think she got disconnected. Uh, yeah. Mr. Gamera, do you finish your question? Yes, lo que ahorita cada rato me está sacando el internet. Me dice, when, when does she buy a computer? Ah, okay, very good. She buys a computer tomorrow. Okay. All right, when does she buy a computer? All right, so you might say she buys a computer tomorrow. Actually, people, most of you have done a great job, right? So, básicamente puedo decir que sí, ya nos podemos defender en cuanto al uso correcto de preguntas en primera y tercera persona, right? Let's remember, these are just basic questions related to the simple present, and this is cool because you know how to do this, right? You know how to practice this type of structures and the way you should answer, right? Entonces, básicamente ya tenemos un previo conocimiento de cómo crear information questions usando el presente simple, eh, lo que significa que podemos mantener una pequeña conversación a base de pregunta-respuesta. That's what I'm thinking. What is just missing? It's missing just the practice, right? So it's just missing the practice and that's it. Probably in a couple of minutes, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a short talk likely similar to the ones that we did last class. But in this case, we're gonna make it just in pairs. So let's see how many people that are in here. We can show up to do that. Okay, great. So I'm gonna, probably we will need it in the future. Give me one second, I'm gonna copy this before I eliminate it. Okay, cool. Let's move. Now, we'll put aside the uses of the simple present and now let's jump into the simple past. Let's remember, the simple past in a somehow is easier than the uses of the simple present. Básicamente es un tanto fácil en algunos aspectos del pasado simple, okay, eh, a comparación de el presente simple, especially in information questions. Why? Because in simple past, we just got the one verb and that's it. You don't need to change the verb, you don't need to change the auxiliary verb and that's it, okay? For example, in simple past, I can say, I went to work today. Fui a trabajar este día. Look at that, I went to work today. Let's move on with the series of examples. Let's see, Carla, help me reading. I received my payment. Ah, okay, very Wednesday. good. Wednesday. Ah, no, Wednesday. I mean, that's, that's yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, <laughs> not Wednesday, uh, yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah, man, Wednesday is today, actually. Okay, let's continue. Let's take a look at this. Uh, no, no, no. Let me see. Joanna, are you there? Can you please read this one for me? Teacher, aquí estoy, pero estoy más muerta que viva. <laughs> no, man, only read, and that's it. Just read that, that example, and that's it. Now, one, or two, or three. Number three. She, she decided to quit in her company. Ah, okay, cool. Ella decidió renunciar en su compañía. Right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Serán señales, dice Joanna. No, man. Okay, look at this. She decided to quit in her company. So basically, 
the verb in there is a regular verb. If you take a look in there, si ven ahí en esta parte acá, es un verbo regular. Why? Because you got ed to make a simple pass. All right? Cool. Now, look at this. Let's move. I want to ask something later on. Let me see. Let me see who else is in there. Karen, help me out reading the example number four. He called his clients this morning. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Karen. He called his client this morning. You see? We got another one. <laughs> Let me see who can help me out with this. Someone that has not participated that much. Julio says, are you there? Are you there, mister? Julio? Okay, I guess he's, he's working or doing something else. That's why he does not reply. Okay, uh, let me see. Michelle, do you listen to me? Jesus Christ, Michelle solo se conecta y se desconecta luego. <laughs> oh my God. Probably the internet is, is likely similar to the one from Carlos. Okay, Ivania, help me read in this one. They bought a new car. Ah, okay, very good. They bought a new car. Like, ellos compraron un carro nuevo, right? That's it. Thank you. Okay, cool. So this is a series of examples that we can use. Okay, just to put it in the simple pass. Give me one second. Just to put it in the simple pass and create activities that we started in the past and finished in the past, right? Uh, I think I got, let me see. I think I got the, I don't know, this is questions to ask. Check this out. Look, in this case, we just got, okay, the structure. And which one is the structure? Remember, the structure for basic statements using the simple past is this one. Let me see, subject plus, look at this, plus verb and pass plus complement. So this is the one that we got in here, the one that we use. Subject plus verb and pass plus complement, right? This is the structure. Entonces, esta es la estructura que por lo general nosotros ocupamos para crear oraciones en pasado uh, simple. Now, let's move. Ok, good. Let's move, people. Sí, sí, disculpe. Esto que puse en rojo es la cultura, ¿verdad? Para simple past and statement. Exactly. Exactly. Especially for positive statements. All right. Okay, cool. Now, I got some questions in here that I do really need we to practice. Questions to answer, it says. I am in this. This is the one. All right. Check this out. It says, where did you go yesterday? Look, where did you go yesterday? What did she do last week? What did she send last month? Where did they talk last night? And who did you visit last year? Okay, listen, listen. I want you to copy these questions because I need we to practice these ones into the breakout rooms. Copien estas preguntas porque las vamos a, las vamos a necesitar para una pequeña práctica que vamos a hacer. Like right now. Copy them all, please.
Let me know when you finish. Me sacó bien raro, Tito, de la sesión y volvió a entrar solo. Ah, ¿vele? ¿Y este? Yes. Hay muchos que me están reportando que tienen problemas de conexión y que no se han podido conectar. That's weird. No sé así qué. es, teacher. A mí cada rato me saca y entro. O sea, así estoy ahorita. Ya, yeah, a mí no sé qué, qué, qué sucede. Aquí quizás debe ser la zona. Debe ser porque nunca me había fallado así el internet. Posiblemente. Ajá, posiblemente sea la zona. Que sí me están notificando a varios que no pueden entrar. No se ve. ¿Es that your sound, si Mara? No, es mi sobrino. Ah, yo creí que era su hijito. <risa> no, es mi sobrinito. Ah, los suyos ya están no. más grandes. No, no tengo. <risa> no tengo hijos. Nah. No. Ella es que viendo la audiencia, Mara. Nunca la he visto. A ver, baje la cámara, si Mara. I have never seen your face, Yomara. Only your hair. Solo tu cabello puedo ver. <laughs> Otro rato. Oh, my God. Usted era la que antes solía poner una picture suya de, de fondo, ¿verdad? No, eh, es Ivania. Ah, es Ivania. Ah, sí, okay. es Ivania. Mm -hmm. oh, no, yo no. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's true, that's true. Amén. Sí, ya me acordé. Pero anyway, cool. I guess you have already finished that part. Pero antes de irnos a esta pequeña práctica, me gustaría saber quiénes son los que de verdad estamos como uh, oyentes y quiénes son los que estamos en la clase. Let me see. Uh, uh, Andrés, are you there? Is gonna be, are you going to get included, uh, Andrés? Nah, man, Andrés got a sleep. Creo que Andrés se durmió. <laughs> Joanna says that she's sick. Okay, I mean, I respect that. Raquel, are you still there or you fell asleep? Mm, I think Raquel fell asleep too. Se durmió. No, también igual que Andrés. Eh? Uh, William is working. Jacqueline, uh, are you working, Jacqueline? ¿Está trabajando Jacqueline? Ah, uh, I didn't listen. Uh, I didn't listen to you, Jacqueline. Are you working? Yes. Or no? Si me dijo algo no la escuché. <laughs> I didn't listen anything. No sé si es que tienes micrófono encendido o, 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 o your microphone is, is having some issues. But I guess, I guess you're working. Uh, Jorge, how about you, man? Are you still there? Or you went to sleep? I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, cool. You're there. Let me see what you can say. So it means you're working. Uh, uh, I mean, so, está trabajando. Uh, uh, pero está trabajando, Jacqueline. Ah, ok. Cool. Creí que ya estaba en casa. I mean, that is weird. Ok, cool. So, Jorge is active. Julio César, are you there or are you in your work? Ah, I mean, ya, ya, ya vi. Ok, cool, cool, man. Let me see, Emmanuel is there. Ok, cool, and Cindy is working. Nice, people. So I'm going to stop sharing this and listen up. What are we going to do with this information? Listen, listen. The only thing I'm pretending with this is to know if you have understood how to use the simple passive Disculpa. question. No, 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 no. Hola. Give me one second, man. Repeat what you said. Es que ando audífono, que son por eso es. 
Ah, ya, yeah, I mean probably, that's why. That's why. Pero, este, le, pregun le preguntaba que si me tomó mi nombre de la lista. ¿El número de lista? Eh, si me tomó mi nombre. Ah, no, me no yet. I haven't passed yet the attendance list. Antes de ah, okay. que nos vayamos a los breakout rooms, los, la voy a pasar, ¿ok? Give me one second. Ah, okay, yeah, man, give me one second. In this case, I'm going to create them and then I'm going to pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Actually, I'm going to do this before we got to these things. No, es el que se me olvide. Give me one second. Uh, Andres Joel. Andres, Andres. No, nah, man, Andres went to sleep. Uh, Carlos uh, Mauricio. Nice, man. Cindy Melanie. Apparently she's there, but I think she's working. Cool. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Ay, Michel ha de estar hablando hasta con las piedras. Solo se conecta y se vuelve a desconectar. Okay, anyways. Cool, Michel. Ivani Ayamilet. Nice. Jacqueline Patricia. All right, so Jacqueline is working. Uh, Joana Saraí. Ah, ok, cool, Jacqueline. Dije, no me funciona el audífono, por eso. Ah, ok, ok, cool. Let's see, Joana Saraí. Joana, are you still sleeping? Or are you there? Aquí estoy viva todavía. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, Raquel y Andrés cayeron en batalla, man. Simples mortales. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Hey, you said that that. You say this. You said that Veronica. Yeah, Veronica. Uh, was your classmate in module number one, right? Joanna. Nah. All right, let's see. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Jose Edgar. He's there, but he's not active. Juan Emanuel. Present. Nice, sister. Let me see. Julio Cesar. Present. Estoy algo tareado, pero ahí por ahí estoy. Okay, okay, mister, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, me imagine. All right, Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Carla Lisette. Present. Perfect. Raquel Stephanie. Nah, I mean, she's just sleeping. Let me see, Veronica Arely. Hmm, Veronica is not in here. Wendy Yamilet. Not getting connected. William Ernesto. No, I am in William is working at. Carlos Josue. Nice. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. Which is not here, right? Give me one sec. Okay, cool. Okay, for the ones who get present in there. All right, people, listen up. What are we going to do with this information? Now, you got a series of questions. Tienen un par de preguntas ahí que lo que pretendo con eso es que nos vayamos a hacer una pequeña práctica en la cual ustedes interactúen con estas preguntas. Listen up, how come? Si Carla trabaja con Karen, all right, Carla le puede hacer estas preguntas a Karen y Karen le va a responder, uh, you know, like by her own, okay? And Carla will take notes about what Karen said. Now then Karen can repeat the questions to Carla and she will take the questions that uh, and the answers that Carla said about that. Remember, those type of questions have to be all of them in simple past. ¿Qué es lo único que vamos a cambiar en las respuestas? Es el verbo, recuerden. Ok, en la pregunta el verbo está en forma base, pero en la respuesta va a ir el verbo en pasado. Ok, that's everything we are going to be doing. Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo entonces. Uh, in the questions, for example, where did you go yesterday? Ah, ¿a dónde fuiste ayer? Uh, you know that you can start, like, for example, I went to um, a party yesterday, to call it like that, right? So this is the way how we can answer this type of questions. Pero acá la, la idea principal es, listen, listen, 
la idea principal es que acá ustedes practiquen las preguntas y respuestas, ¿ok? Eso es lo que cuenta más. Si ustedes no quieren copiar all right, las respuestas, pueden hacerlo interactuado, solo las preguntas, a modo de conversation, así como leemos las conversaciones, ¿ok? Like, eh, una le pregunta a la otra, ¿ok? Eh, cuando termina la serie de preguntas, la otra le pregunta al otro, en la it, ¿ok? Share the answers, ¿ok? Porque esas mismas preguntas me las van a venir a practicar acá, ¿all right? But I want you to previously practice the simple pass of the verbs, ¿ok? Cool. Any question? Esa pregunta la vamos a, son estas que nos puso usted o nosotros la vamos a otra, a crear otra. Ah, no, 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 no van a crear otras. Esas mismas preguntas usted las va a interactuar con un compañero que le voy a poner ahorita, usted se las va a preguntar y su compañero le va a dar respuesta, ¿ok? No hay necesidad de que las anote, de que anote las respuestas de su compañero. Hagámoslo a modo de práctica. Luego su compañero se las hace a usted y usted le da una posible respuesta. Pues como son personales, acá cada uno va a tener una respuesta diferente. ¿Ok? Si usted le pregunta a Carla, ah, where did you go yesterday? ¿A dónde fue ayer? Carla probablemente le diga, I went to work yesterday. Fui a trabajar ayer. Pero si Carla le pregunta a usted, usted posiblemente le diga, I went to the cinema yesterday. Ah, fui al cine ayer, right? To watch uh, Doctor Strange. And as an example, right? As example. Cool. Now, I'm going to make it up. And let's, ahorita les voy a asignar. Give me one second. Los que están activos y los que no. Uh, let me see. All right, Carlos is active. Okay, cool. We got you. I'm going to put Andres over here. Give me one second. I'm just, I'm just doing this. Ivan is there and okay, yeah. Jesus Christ. Give me one second. Okay, cool. Open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work, people. Let's go to work. We're going to have at about 10 minutes to do this. Then we're going to come back, okay? All right, let's go and accept it and let's go and enter. Right, just to practice this last question. I start at home. Hola, hola. Bueno, me dejó hablando solo. <risa> Creo que tiene problemas. Con... Ok. Yo, les, él me estaba preguntando, teacher, sobre, ¿verdad? Es que cuando nos pasemos todos en el grupo, eh, él me va a preguntar y yo le voy a contestar. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, I mean, exactly, sí. like in here. Okay. You can do okay. it right now that part. Mm -hmm. En la primera pregunta, cuando él me pregunta, where did you go study? Algo así. Pero, no sé si está bien, <laughs> no sé si está bien la respuesta que yo le voy a dar, usted me corrige. I don't go out and anywhere, I start at home. I didn't, porque es pasado. Ya no es don't, es didn't. Ah, ok, miren. Me sacó otra vez. 
la, la, la... Y lo volvió a sacar, que quedó dormido, ¿no? Otra vez. Bueno, me va a costar un poco. Pero... Ya, mi alero, no sé por qué varios están teniendo problemas. Michelle se ha conectado como 10 veces y solo se ha conectado, activado cámara y se va de nuevo. Se desconecta. Ok. <risa> Entonces sería, I didn't. Uh -huh. I no. didn't go on anywhere or start at home. Yeah, I mean, I didn't go anywhere. ¿Me escuchan? Yes, hoy sí. Ok, a ver qué pasa, ya, ya que a veces me está sacando. Antes que se vaya, tengo una duda. Vaya. Si yo le pregunto a ella, where did you go yesterday? Ella me responde a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces la respuesta de ella, yo la paso en tercera persona. ¿Qué tiene que ser? Ah, no, simplemente hagámoslo de este modo, a modo práctica. Hágase la, hágale las preguntas a ella, ella da su respuesta y luego ella que se las haga a usted y usted da su propia respuesta y así están interactuando. Hagámoslo a oh, modo okay. de conversación. Ya, yeah, I mean, que sea más sencillo para ustedes. Ok, ok. Ok. All right. Gracias. Perfecto. Bye. Ok. La voy a hacer ¿Cómo? otra vez. ¿Qué quería poner? Te digo que... Hacer mis pendientes. Y le pongo cheat me. She did. She did. She did. Hacer sus pendientes le pongo ahí. Pendientes, teacher. ¿Pendientes? ¿A qué se refieren con pendientes? Como hacer sus... Um... ¿Actividades? Actividades, sí. Son actividades. las que dices tasks. Se los voy a escribir acá. Así. Bueno. Tasks. Ah, como tarea. ¿Mm? Bueno, chido. Entonces sería como she did her task. Uh -huh. Entonces la primera mía sería uh -huh. I had hit from By Monica. Where did they talk last night? They talk about uh, the newspaper. Also, and they, no le entendí. Es como que no tiene señal, no tiene buena señal. Ya, yeah, ministro, varios están, están así que no, 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 no tienen bastante mala sí. internet. He visto que varios se han conectado y se han vuelto a desconectar. Hello, Emanuel. Emanuel. Ok, ok. Can you hear me? Yes. But where okay. did they talk last night? The last night we talked about the newspaper mm -hmm. and the soccer. Uh, se convirtió en robot. <laughs> hey, Joanna, I mean, help, help them. Ayúdales, Joanna. 
teacher, no. Tengo que ver esta clase otra vez. Guay. Es que no le he puesto atención. No le voy a dar <risa> <ventaja> ahorita. <risa> Nice one, nice Sorry. One. Jesus Christ, Joanna. Okay, Emmanuel, if you can listen to me, please write down the answer to, to on the chat. Eh, escriba la respuesta okay. en el chat porque si sí, eh, está teniendo problemas con el internet y casi no se le escucha. Así, si Omara le, 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 le puede entender qué es lo que usted le está mencionando. Perfect, no problem. Nice, man, nice. So, people, are you there? Yes. Ya, yeah, bueno, yo tengo mi respuesta. Solo estoy esperando los a ellos que te van a de ellos. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. You got your, your festival answer, Jorge. If you got them, let's interact with Ivani, okay? Yeah, sí, solo estoy terminando. Eh. Perfect, perfect. Sería como I, I didn't. Yo tengo una duda. A tiempo vino. <laughs> ok, cool. Tell oh, me. Mire, estamos en la, en, la, en la que dice What did she do last week? Entonces, como estamos en una conversación, eh, estamos hablando de alguien más, ¿verdad? De ella. Entonces, ahí sustituimos el sí por un nombre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, lo preguntamos. What did Rebecca de las week? Ajá. Entonces viene Carla y me respondió Rebecca was working de las week. Ajá, esa fue la, la, la respuesta de ella. Pero yo quiero decir este, yo no sé que yo no sé lo que hizo Rebecca la semana pasada. I don't know. Ajá, ¿cómo puede decir ahí? I don't know what Rebecca did last week. Sería I Don't know. Ajá. Uh -huh. What Rebecca did. What Rebecca did the last week. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. No, vamos por la segunda, pero. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, estaba escuchando. Yo creo que he terminado. No, todavía no. Estamos pensando, teacher. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. They talked. They talked at the party. They talked. They talked. They talked. Okay, uh, there you go, guys. You finish? Are you about to finish? Oh, no.
All right, I guess you are you are not finishing yet. I don't know the Tamara as the answer. Ah, okay. So probably she got some answers. Okay, we're gonna spend just a couple of mm, minutes, all right? And then we're gonna go back. Okay, no problem. Nice. Oh yeah, I see. Teacher, hello. Una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. Digamos, donde afirmamos, ya sea el mes pasado, la semana pasada o la noche pasada, siempre debe ir al final de la oración o puede ir al inicio. Por lo general, siempre va al final de la oración. Al final. Para... Si va al principio, tiene que ir con una coma, dividido por una coma, pero por lo general casi siempre va al final. Ah, ok. ¿Mm? Bueno, es que yo hice tres al inicio y dos al final. <risa> ok, cool. Okay. Perfect. I'm just waiting for grid number one because they have not finished. As far as they finish, we go back, ok? Okay, nice. No logré escuchar qué estuvieron hablando. Ajá, él le pregunta, where did, where did they talk last night? Ellos que estuvieron hablando o conversando la noche anterior. Entonces yo a usted le respondo eso. They were talking okay. about me. No Entonces yo le diría, I didn't, I didn't. Her what they say? Say? No sabe lo que estaban hablando. Ajá. No, no. Como decir, no escuché que hablaron ellos. Sería I didn't hear. What is it? I didn't hear. Didn't hear or didn't listen. I didn't listen the conversation. I didn't hear. I didn't uh, hear listen the conversation. I, I didn't hear the, the conversation. Hear. Yeah, no, no escuché la conversación. Yes. Listen the okay. conversation. Okay. Good day, June. Visit last year. Sí, que visitó la, el, año, eh, el, el año pasado. Así sería, dice. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo voy a decir que nadie me, me ha visitado. Hey, is someone eating a... snacks? ¿Hay alguien que está comiendo snacks? ¿Ya? Yeah? No, 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 para nada. No. Es que escucho un ruidito ahí, por ahí. Yo creo que soy yo, porque aquí sí está con bastante viento. Ah, man, it's, it's, it's windy. Yo creí que estaba lloviendo. Sí, no, no, no. Hay bastante viento, pero no es lluvia. Entonces, como tengo unas matas de guineo, eh, las ah, hojitas se mueven. Ah, eso da su Es cierto, entonces eso es. <risa> Yo decía, alguien está comiendo algún churro o algo. No. <risa> ok. okay. ¿Cómo quería decir? Nadie me visitó el, el año pasado. ¿A quién visitaste? Por ahí dice como, ¿a quién visitaste, verdad? Sí. ¿O no? Así dice, ¿a quién visitaste? No, dice, uh, ¿Who did you visit? ¿Que ¿Quién me visitó el año pasado? Who did you visit instead last year? Busy my 
friend from my friend. Ok, entonces ahora usted Yo, me hace las preguntas. Uh -huh. Where did you go? Yeah. I went to my work. Is everything done, guys? You finish? No, teacher, no terminamos. But how many how many do you have right now? What is in the store? Okay, quiero ver una, dos, tres, una, dos, una, dos, tres, nada más. Yo, las mías sí se las dije a, a, a Emanuel, pero ya cuando él me estaba diciendo las de él, pues que se puede enseñar. Mm, ok. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Ok. Uh, we're going to just repeat those words that you have. Simplemente vamos a. Send the answer by chat to Mar. Pero en el chat. En el chat de Zoom, probably. No, ahí no están. No están en el chat de Zoom. Hmm. So the, no, no están. Ah, pues no estaba, Emanuel. Are you sure that you send it? Emanuel. Yeah, man, he's, he's having serious issues. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, listen up, work with the ones that you have right now and the... All right, uh, yeah, I mean, let's do the ones that we got right now and then we're gonna continue with the practice because we have one practice uh, that is going to be missing. So I don't want to let this for tomorrow, okay? Let's go to the main section and work with the ones that you have, okay? Nice, man, go back. Hola, teacher. Va a disculpar que hasta ahorita voy saliendo. Really? Until now? Hasta ahorita, imagínese. Jesus, man. Almost 10, casi las 10. Sí. Hasta ahorita, así que, bueno, casi ni he podido ni escucharlo bien, la verdad. <laughs> yeah, man, it's true. That's true. Anyways, no problem, man. No problem. I know that you, that you it's part of your work and you have yeah, to do it, right? Ya, igual, de todas maneras, yo ya finalicé igual el, el midday y, la, y las tareas también. No, nah, ok, cool, cool, man. Cool. Bueno, cool. ahí voy a escuchar el último que hace falta, por lo menos. Ok, perfect. So I'm going to start with the ones oh. that, that we got in here. Listen, I know some of you didn't finish, ok? Sé que algunos no terminaron, pero trabajemos las que terminaron, ok? In the seat. Uh, let me see. We're going to start with Carlos and Carla. Ready? I know, oh, dice Carla. Ready. I know, dice Carla. I okay. see. <laughs> because, okay. Because Carlos was the first one on the line, man. Porque Carlos me pareció primero en la lista. Así que, anyway. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Where did you go yesterday? I visited my mom yesterday. 
Okay. What about you, Carla? I didn't go home anywhere I stay at home. Cool. Okay. Carlos, what yeah. is she? Eh, perdón. Continue. What is Rebecca do last week? Last week? Last week, uh huh. Last week? Uh, I don't know what Rebecca did the last week. What about you, Carla? Okay, yeah. Rebecca was working last week. Okay. Uh, where did they talk last night? I didn't hear <clears throat> listen the conversation. And you? Uh, they were talking about me. Okay. okay. Cool. They were talking. They were talking about me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, where, uh, who did you visit last year, Carla? I feel the family visit. And you, Carlos? Nobody visited last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. I visited nobody last year. Okay. All right. That's acceptable. Thank you, Carla. Hey, Sorry. Carlos, you did it excellent. Nice. Mr. Gamero. If I'm not wrong, you were working with uh, the, 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 Raquel and uh, Karen, right? Yes, with Jacqueline. Ah, I am with Jacqueline. No, me, Raquel is sleeping, that's true. Okay, good. Let's practice as the way you were practicing. Esto somos tres en el grupo, ¿verdad? Okay, let's do something. Carlos ask uh, Jacqueline, then Jacqueline ask uh, Karen, and then Karen finishes with you, Carlos. Okay. Okay, comienzo. Where did you Where did you go yesterday? I do right and now. You mean I didn't go out? Okay, let's go. La segunda. Okay. What did she do last week? No sé, tuvo problem. She do no last. Ah, uh, she did? Do last. Dila. Así me Okay, she did not do. Flat. Okay. All right, all right. Carlos. La tercera, verdad. What, what did he send last month? Statement. My statement. My statement? Sí. Yes. Ah, okay. Where did, where did they talk last night? They talked at Council House. Okay, they talked they, they talk the Council House. No, okay, acceptable. There you go. Thank you, Carlos. All right, now Jacqueline, ask Karen. Do you have a Karen? Yes. Where do you are? I went to my mother in law house. What did she do that with? She worked at her office. What did she send last month? He sent the monthly report. We did they tax last night? They talked 
at the party. How What did party? you visit last year? I visit my family. There you go. Thank you, Jacqueline. Now, Karen finished this asking uh, the questions to Carlos. Where did you go yesterday? I went to my work. What did she do last week? She studied English. She studied English, okay. What did he send last month? He sent the report. Where did they talk last night? They talked at their office. Who did you visit last year? I visited my mother house. Very good. All right. Nice. Oh. Thank you. Ahora yo le pregunto. Ah, no, ya, ya uh, yeah, I mean, you asked already. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. ya preguntó, no se preocupe. Okay, ya le preguntaron a ella también. So we finished that cycle by that. So thank you, Carlos, Jacqueline, and Karen. You did it excellent. Now, uh, let's see, who was the next one? Jorge? I think you, you were working with Ivania, if I'm not wrong. So you can talk to me, Ivania. Or Xiomara. Yeah. Ivania, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, Jorge. Where did you go yesterday? I went yesterday to the park. Eh, doy mi respuesta también. Ah, uh, not necessarily. No problem. Okay. What did she do last week? <laughs> she bought a new clothes the last week. Mm, okay. What did he send last month? He sent the report the last month. Where did they call last night? They talked at the party yesterday. Who did you visit last year? I visited my aunt last year. Sometimes. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Uh, where did you go yesterday? Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. I went to work in the morning yesterday. What did she do last week? She went to buy food at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. What did he send last month? She mailed the report last month. Where did they talk last night? Last night we we'll talked at cinema. Hmm. Okay. Who did you visit last year? Last year I visited my aunt in the capital. No, okay, very good. Thank you, Vanya Holly. You did it excellent. Let me see who's missing. Got the feeling that someone is missing. All right, Xiomara. Yes, teacher. Okay, who are you? Are you were practicing with it, with uh, Emmanuel, right? Mm -hmm. Sí. Cool. All right, Emmanuel. Ready? Okay. Ready. Nice. Okay. Um, where did you go yesterday? I went to the supermarket. Okay. What did she do last week? She went to the gym last week. Okay. And what did he send last month? He sent a package last month. 
Where did they talk uh, last night? They talked in a restaurant last night. Yeah. Um, who did you visit last year? I visited my uncle last year. Perfect. Very good. Now the other way around. The other way around. Now, Sumana starts with the questions. Where did you go yesterday? Yesterday, I went to work. What did he do last week? I visited the supermarket. What did he send last month? I sent the report in the last month. Where did they talk last night, Bahal? We talked in the park about the news and soccer match. Who did you visit last year? I visit Chalatenango City. No, okay, I finished a lot of negativity last year, right? Okay, that was a couple of questions that you were practicing, guys. Now, listen up. This was just a model of uh, practice to see if you have got the idea of how, how to create questions and show answers using the simple past, okay? Let's remember, hay algunas cosas que necesitamos un poco mejorar. Ahí es con el uso correcto del verbo, okay? Eh, recordemos que en la respuesta el verbo va en pasado. Pero en la pregunta el, el verbo va en forma base, ¿ok? O, como ustedes dicen, presente simple, right? Simple present. Right, let's remember that part. Recordemos también que las time expressions, like yesterday, last week, last month, last year, uh, esas por lo general siempre van al final de cada eh, oración. Let's remember that, ¿ok? Always at the end. Si las van a colocar al principio, tiene que ir dividida por una coma, ¿ok? That's, that's the only difference between the above. Uh, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Okay. All right, people. Listen up. The ones that are in here. Eh, hay alguien que, que de acá, que esté acá, me deba tarea. ¿Quién me debe tarea? No, okay, cool. Aparte de Carlos, ¿quién más les falta? Yo, teachers. Más? Solamente la tarea 7, creo que. ¿Esa es la única que le falta? Ya. Yeah. En la tarea me dio dolor de cabello. Guay, Joana. Igual Porque a mí. No, no me dejaba pasar y Karen creo que me ayudó. Gracias, Karen. Ah, sí, sí, estuve viendo que... Eh, estaban preguntando. Pero, a mí... Yo tuve, yo tuve que cambiar de, de teléfono para poder volver a hacer porque en mi teléfono ya no me dejaba. Ah, ¿really? Really. De, esa fue la única manera que pude completarlo. Mm -hmm. I mean, give me one second. It's hungry number two, right? I'm going to project this thing. And let, let's check, let's check. This is the one. Okay, you said homework number seven, right? Yes. This one? Yes, mister. In number two. In number two. Ahí tenía que ser el Saturday en mayúscula y sin el punto al final. Y lo intentamos como pues, un montón de veces con Raquel. Y con Edgar, hasta que la carne nos salvó, porque si sí nos estamos dando duro con eso. Ok. Y el right. problema es que no le agregaban la última S, también no me olvidé. Vamos a ver la instrucción sí. que dice. Read the information, type a proper question. Don't forget to use the auxiliaries. Vamos a ver. Who... Vamos a ver primero que nada si es simple present. 
Oke, okay. vamos a ver, vamos a enviar. Next, it's not simple present. Bill. Let's see. Neither. So what you got in here? Okay, so you got in here. Now let's put up that over here. La S tiene que ir mayúscula. I am in some Saturdays. Cool. Let me see. Vamos a ver si eso afecta. I am in this affecting. So, entonces acá el mistake era básicamente que tiene que ir en mayúscula. Acá. Sí, pero a mí me la tiró con el das. Das. Bien. Really? Simple present teacher. Yeah. Simple present? Yes. Ah, ok. Let me see. Let me see. Das. Like this? And let me see. Ah, you got it there. Correctly. Mm, ok, cool. That's pretty nice. Let me see. What does this machine do? Let me see if that one is the correct one. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's the correct one. Cool. All right, so it was working properly. Okay, that's nice. I mean, the, the cool part in this one is that I can, I can show the, the answers over here, look. Okay, cool. Sí, como en realidad, sí, como dijo William, que en veces sí pide que hay que poner el punto, en veces no. Uh -huh. en veces eh, no. Exactly, exactly. You got to read the indications sometimes. Y a veces es bien complicado hacerla desde el teléfono porque, eh, digamos, que tiende a variar un poco. A veces el teléfono automáticamente pone la letra en minúscula después de un punto y a veces por esa letra en minúscula, en mayúscula, perdón, eh, eh, nos tira error. Ok, so that's why sometimes. But let me see. Pero ahorita lo que, lo que quisiera ver es si eh, todavía hay algo, alguien que me deba tarea, aparte de los que ya me dijeron. All right, just give me one second. I'm going to put it in here. Ok, mostly, most of you. Okay, most of you got the homework. Algunos todavía tienen el 75% del midterm, significa que falta. Y yeah, hay yeah, algunos que todavía no me han terminado eh, las tareas, ni tampoco el midterm. Bien, esperaría que para esta noche, esperaría, esperaría que para esta noche ya esté eso hecho. Ok, like. Let me see, Reinaldo. Oh, yeah, I mean, Veronica got a 90%. When they got 80, he didn't have nothing. Okay, but anyways. Uh, so this is the way how we go with that. Creo que ya no han encontrado ningún otro problema que, sol eh, que, que, que solucionar. Y si en un dado caso, pues lo encuentran. Igual, siempre manden la plataforma que... Si yo estoy ocupado, alguno de sus compañeros pues les va a corroborar la información o les va a ayudar como fue ahora en la mañana. Y ya cuando vine a ver el mensaje que salía Bray, ya uh, si no me equivoco, Karen había solucionado el detalle que eh, preguntaba el compañero. Right? So that's pretty cool that you get together and, and try to, to give a solution to those things. Ok? Cool. So básicamente entonces hemos llegado hasta acá con la, eh, con la videoconferencia. Uh, let's remember, tomorrow we're going to start with a new week. Ya mañana iniciaríamos la semana 3. Let's remember that. And by today, you just got to the homework number 10. And basically, the midterm, all right? So, ese eran sus pendientes para esta semana. Simplemente llegar hasta la tarea 10 y el midterm, o examen de medio curso, okay? Cool. I'm going to pass the attendance list, okay, before we go. Give me one second.
Nice. Andrés Joel. Andrés. Are you there? Amen. Andrés is probably sleeping. Carlos Mauricio. Ah, ok, cool. Let's move. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, probably she got disconnected. Uh, Stephanie Michelle, she didn't connect it today. Ivania Yamilet. Present. Ok, very good. Let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Present. Nice. Joana Saraí. Aquí estoy. Ok, cool. Jorge Alberto. Present. Very good. Jose Edgar. Jose Edgar, are you there? Ok, está bien. Juan Emanuel. Present. Ok, very good. Give me one second, I'm going to continue with this. Julio Cesar. Okay, Julio got problems with the internet, apparently. Karen Beatriz. Present. Perfect. Carla Lisset. Present. Nice. Let's move. Raquel Stephanie. No, I mean, she's super sleeping. Veronica Arely. Oh, yes, she didn't show up today. Wendy Yamilet, neither Wendy, William Ernesto, all right, he's there, but I think he's on the way home, and let me see, Xiomara Elizabeth, present, nice, Carlos Josue, Carlos, Okay, I think he's not there. Uh, let me see. Jesus Christ, there are a lot of people that I that I don't have, and they got these things. Xiomara, uh, are you there? Jesus, they went away. Okay, then uh, there are a lot of people that are that, that are not connected, and they got the ten minutes feedback on the main thing, and I don't know what to choose. Okay, cool. So people, let's see you tomorrow. So we're gonna be uh, doing this like tonight, okay? And that's that's gonna be everything. See you tomorrow and have a wonderful night, okay? Bye bye everybody. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Good night everybody. See you. All right, so see you, everybody. Bye. So you're going to go and get disconnected from there. All right, everyone. All right. Uh, so this was part of the class that we were doing tonight. So it was just a general feedback. I didn't have any student. Okay. Eh, los, student, los participantes que tenía conectados y al final de la clase, prácticamente todos, eh, la gran mayoría había pasado a los feedback. Y los que hacen falta, y unos no, subieron, no pudieron estar y otros pues habían estado bien porque todavía están trabajando. So let's make a general feedback related to this, to this thing, okay, to this class. Uh, básicamente estuvimos hablando sobre el uso del presente simple with information questions and we were practicing the uses of the simple past two okay uh, we were practicing questions with simple present okay uh, como por ejemplo usando what what time where when who with why using the simple present you know uh, those type of questions in simple present were easy 
because in this case, we uh, know what's the structure that we are working and everything. And for example, take this out over here. Look, this is the structure that we were practicing. The structure is the following. It says WH word. Remember, the WH word eh, siempre son aquellas que van a ir acompañadas si queremos hacer una oración, una pregunta, en este caso, informativa. OK? Las WH word juegan un papel muy importante debido a que, de acuerdo a la WH word, que nos, eh, se nos presente en la pregunta, así va a ser el tipo de respuesta que nosotros vamos a dar. OK? Luego tenemos el auxiliar, que ya puede ser dúo o si es con primera persona, segunda persona o los plurales. All right. O das, si es primera o tercera persona. Ok. So let's remember that. Luego el subject puede ser ya el nombre propio. All right. Or something, something else. Remember, it will depend if it is singular o plural. Y luego vamos a poner la forma base del verbo. Remember. Acá no agregamos S al verbo cuando es una pregunta, ¿ok? Siempre el verbo tiene que ir de forma base, and that's it. After this, we got a complement. Y pues, bueno, tenemos un complemento para hacerlo más sencillo, ¿ok? Just like that, o más, más específico de lo que estamos hablando. So, take a series of examples. Where does Marta send emails? Ahí básicamente tenemos reflejada el uso de la estructura que tenemos a, a, arriba de esa oración, right? o de esa pregunta, por así decirlo. Where does Marta send emails? ¿A dónde Marta envía All right, correos? Correo la edad. So it says, she sends emails to other branches. Ah, y envía emails a otras. OK. Branches, let's remember, are basically another uh, place that got the company in another department. In este caso, Serían sucursales. Next, what do you do? Recordemos, esta pregunta se puede dividir o se puede interpretar como ¿Qué haces? Okay. What do you do? O ¿A qué te dedicas? In this case, I got this one. I train new employees. Ah, entreno nuevos empleados. Right? So this is the way how we do this structure. Okay? And with the simple past, it's pretty easy. Ya con el pasado simple, es un tanto sencillo. You know, somehow. Give me one second. I'm going to clear up. In the simple past, it's like easy because all you got to do is to put the subject. Simplemente tenemos que poner el subject. Luego tenemos que poner el verbo go, pero en pasado, porque la oración es en pasado. So, y el verbo go, recuerden, el pasado es went. Y luego, to work today. I went to work today. Fui a trabajar ahora. I received my payment yesterday. Acá básicamente el verbo está en forma base. Pero acá el verbo tiene que cambiar. Right? So it has to be like this. I received. Okay. I received. What did we got here? My payment yesterday. Like this. I received my payment yesterday. Ah, recibí mi pago ayer. That's what it says. Next. She decided to quit in her company. Recuerden que cuando ya hablamos sobre dos verbos juntos, ¿ok? Por lo general, el primero o va en gerundio o va en infinitivo con la preposición to, como en el ejemplo que tenemos acá. All right. Y si vamos a escribir una oración en pasado simple, recordemos. Ok. Let's remember. En este caso, it's really essential. All right. Por el aire es que este de acá. Ok. Remember, este es el que hace la acción en el pasado. Y si ven el siguiente, este de acá, está haciendo la acción, pero usando un verbo, ok, de forma base. Ok, so this is pretty much what I was explaining to these people, ok. So básicamente era parte de lo que se estaba viendo 
¿ok? Y como retroalimentación general o como general feedback sobre la clase. All right. So, nos vemos mañana entonces en otra videoconferencia. I hope you got a wonderful night. Right? And everything is working fine up to now. Bye bye.